What's up everyone, welcome to a brand new review. Today I'm discussing Death Wish. Yeah, that remake starring Bruce Willis and Eli Roth. And let me tell you, I was going to this film looking for a fun B-rated film with just some cool action scenes with Bruce Willis not giving a shit and getting those cool action vibes from him. I mean, like, just give me something. I mean, I mean you have Eli Roth directing, and Eli Roth is a brutal director. The guy did Hostel and Green Inferno, and I usually like his particular directing styles because he doesn't care. He'll show everything on the screen. He'll do whatever, and he makes good, entertaining films and I enjoy most of his films. I think they're entertaining. But I gotta say, Death Wish is not a good remake. I know this is a remake, and I've seen the original, but it was like two years ago with my friends, and I enjoyed it. But let me tell you, this remake is bad. It, it, it's bad, and the more I think about this film, the more I wish I would have just stayed home tonight. I mean that in a, a very bad way. Like, I think I honestly enjoyed Fifty Shades Freed more than Death Wish. Yeah, I said that. And I only, I'm only saying that because Fifty Shades Freed, I at least laughed and made fun of the film. Death Wish was just a slog to go through. It was so bland and boring. I kept checking my time, and I was just like, ah, oh, can this film end already? Because the thing about this film is, one, I'm going to put away all the controversy aside, because this film's going to, people are going to have a ton of controversy about this movie. Uh, bad time to release this film, with everything going on in the world. Bad time. I'll just put it out there. But besides the controversy... The thing about this film is that there's like really like that B-rated feeling it gives you in the trailers. It's not there. It like doesn't, it goes away pretty much. Like you don't get that feeling. And that's the thing is that there's like no action in here. It, it tries to be, the thing about, the problem with this film overall is that there is really no fun in here. There's no stakes. There's no caring for any of the characters because the script is so poorly written that you don't care about anyone. And the thing is, is that here's the thing. If you got good performances, they can override and go above and beyond what a script can give them. Given the script could be still crap, but you can get good performances that go above and beyond those and make you actually still care, even though the script and the dialogue is bad. Because let me tell you, the script and dialogue is like pretty bad for this film. That's the thing. The performances in here everyone's just walking through this film. The only actor I think actually trying this film was Vincent D'Onofrio, and even him trying to do something with this material was not enough. Like, he was doing good. I could tell he was actually trying, but it's like the script was not helping it at all. This is the thing. Bruce Willis. I'm really worried about Glass next year with M. Night Shyamalan because the guy is not giving a good performance since Looper. Given he hasn't been working with, like, A-grade talented directors, and I'm hoping M. Night Shyamalan can pull something out of him for Glass, but I'm really worried after seeing this film. I mean, he really did not give a shit about this film. And there were scenes where it called for emotion. It called for that. And it, I think if he would have acted and actually tried, I think if he actually would have tried in those scenes... I would have felt more engaged into his character, engaged into the story, and it, it would have rose above the script. It would have rose above it. Because don't get me wrong, when the action was going on, I was entertained. When these torture scenes, when he's going all badass, kind of fake-ass, B-rated John McClane type of stuff, it's entertaining for sure. But he's just playing this washed-up John McClane. That, that's who he's playing in this movie. He just feels like Bruce Willis. That's all he feels like. It's not the Jean McClane I love in the first Die Hard. It's not that. It's just Bruce Willis playing himself. That's where it took me out of those action scenes. The action scenes were entertaining. Eli Roth can film action very well. He films them brutally. This scene, this movie is bloody. This movie is gory. And it's brain splatter everywhere. And that's what Eli Roth does. And I will say I'm very surprised that it didn't go above and beyond the blood. I was expecting this to be 10 times worse after seeing like Green Inferno that Eli Roth did. Again, the action just felt bland. Eli Roth knows of the film action. The action was fine. It just bland. Like the whole movie. The movie just felt very generic. And that's the problem here. The performances didn't give me anything. There there were some good one-liners in here that I laughed at, but I was going in here wanting a fun B-rated film that takes me back to like the 80s action films and it it didn't. It just it was a slog to get through, and I do not recommend Death Wish at all. This film deserves a Death Wish. I will say, though, there's one funny scene that I started laughing out loud. I don't know why I laughed out loud, but Bruce Willis starts walking down the street all thug-like with his hood and his thing going like this, walking down the street, and there's this 
big bump in rap music jumping behind him and walks up to this one dude. And this is kind of a spoiler, so if you want to see this film, just go away. I, I don't like the film. But if you don't care, here's the rest of it. Walks up to the man, he's like, you the ice cream man? Yeah, what about it? <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Willis did that. He just walked up as a... <sighs> well, I'm going to give Death Wish a D. If you can't tell, I really didn't enjoy this film. But I'm curious, guys. Did you guys enjoy this film? I actually know some people who actually did enjoy Death Wish. So I want to hear it down below in the comments. Let's talk about it. Did you enjoy Death Wish? Did you not? Were you kind of really disappointed? Did you think it was crap? This is what we're talking about down below in the comments. That's what I'm excited to hear about. Of course, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I love talking movies and all the type of stuff down in the comments. I do tons of Q&As and live reactions and even freaking some ranking videos. And those are some of the most fun to make. And if you want to extend from there, I also have a bunch of social media links that you can also follow as well twitter instagram and especially stardust i'm really liking the stardust app it's a lot of fun of course if you want to check out some other movie news that i don't cover or even get to go to advanced screens for movies like ready player one or tomb raider make sure to go check out sandwich on films down below it's a website that i'm a part of and it's a really awesome website so if you're wanting to go to some free screeners and maybe go see some movies early and brag to your friends go check out sandwich on films down below you guys are all the best you guys know this and of course stay classy